Hey guys, welcome to episode two of my weight loss journey. I am on my way to a GYN appointment. If you watch the first video, then you know that I am going to get bariatric, bariatric surgery. And part of that surgery, or part of that program, my GYN and I decided to go ahead and put in an IUD just to be safe, just to make sure I do not get pregnant during this process because it is going to be a lot of weight loss that's going to be happening and she does not want me to have a baby because it's not going to be healthy so I have to wait completely a year to try to conceive. I'm going to try to record, I don't think they'll let me, but I'm going to try to record the process just or not the process but the appointment. Definitely give you guys a recap of what happens next. This is going to be a painful process I already know because the last time it was very painful. Let's get to it. Clinic. Um, let's see what happens. Just signed in. Oh. Guys, I am in the room already undressed waiting for my doctor so today i am gonna get the morena again because last time i had it it worked so so well i never had any issues with it we'll see what they tell me i am i had chapstick on but of course the mask took it off i never wear makeup to come to the gyn i'm always like rough but because I wanted to film this for you guys, I decided to just put a little bit of makeup on, even though I know that when I get home, I'm probably gonna take a nap because every time they, like the last time they put it on, it hurts so bad and I was in so much pain that literally I went home and I like took the longest nap. I like ate something real quick and fell asleep. Also, comment down below, down below if you're like me like when i come to the gyn and i'm gonna get a procedure done i don't eat because i get so nervous like i'm afraid that i'm gonna fart or poop in my doctor's face i know that's a little tmi but tell me <laughs> in the comments if you're like me i can't i cannot eat before any any medical procedure i get so nervous even though i know the outcome is gonna be okay i get really really nervous so let me know uh. Let me know if you're just like me. Uterus. Every time I come here, I read everything and I look at all these pregnancies and babies and all this stuff. And I'm just like, ugh, I can't wait to be a mom. But I know that this whole um, bariatric surgery journey and weight loss surgery, this whole weight loss journey is going to be super important oh one thing i do want to mention while i'm at it that i forgot to mention in the first episode is that obesity can also be genetic so not only can you um, just gain weight from medical treatments or like medications and things like that but obesity can be generational so like if obesity runs in your family then there that's a reason why you're um, gaining weight and so it's super important that you talk to your doctor and find out what is going to work for you and your body and what's going to help you lose the weight and have a healthy longer lifespan okay so i did want to mention that i'm going to shut this off because the doctor's going to come in here any minute i won't be able to record because i'm by myself <laughs> so um, and also I'm gonna be like legs up. So, and I don't know if she's gonna need me to like take my shirt off to do a whole physical. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shut this off here and I will record after I'm done. Okay. All right, guys, I am on my way home. Finally got out. I am in a lot of pain. We stopped by Moe's to pick up some lunch. I usually get the nachos with a lot of protein, so a lot of veggies, a 
a lot of chicken, um, a lot of like healthy things so that I can just dip with the nachos. I am an excruciating pain. I forgot how horrible it felt to get the marina put in, but <sighs> this is going to be one exciting journey. And when it comes to bariatric surgery, you have to wait a year um, before you start trying to conceive. So when my bariatric surgeon gives me the okay to go ahead and try to conceive, then I will be removing uh, the IUD and that's gonna be a whole nother journey. <sighs> I'm getting really, really bad cramping right now. So I'm gonna shut this off and uh, we will be, we will be back later. All right, I am finally home. Um, I had my lunch and I am here with the heating pad on. I'm in bed um, with the TV on. I feel bad, I feel bad for Shadow, my dog, uh, but because I can't give him attention, but I'm gonna end this portion of the vlog here. This is quite the painful, painful process. Um, all right, I will see you guys later. Hey guys, it is currently the next day. As you can see, I have curly hair, no makeup. It was truly a rough night. Once I got home, I literally had pain all night, excruciating ovary pain. And I had a stabbing pain in my vagina. Um, I don't remember that happening last time. Today, I don't have that feeling anymore. But yesterday was really bad. It, I, I felt it like when I walked. I wasn't sure if it was the string or not. And I decided to wait till today to see if I was going to have the same pain today while I walked or moved. It's like any movement that I was having was causing that like sharp pain, sharp stabbing pain. I was also experiencing a lot of pounding in my ovaries, like a, like a pounding sensation type of pain. And I was also experiencing, you know, your regular ovary pains where it's like super sharp and you feel it all the way in your butt. If you're a woman, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It was important for me to film that process because that's an important step to my weight loss journey. In episode one, I said my main goal is to, that noise that you hear is my dog in the background. My main goal in life has always been to like be a mother, have a family, you know, be a businesswoman somehow and like just follow my dreams, right? Be a career woman and have a family and ha and do it all. My bariatric surgeon and my GYN both explained to me that when you have surgery, you need to wait a full year. And I mentioned this in the first episode. You need to wait a full year before you have a child, um, especially after surgery, because there's a lot of a rapid weight loss that's happening. And it's just not you need to give your body time to heal from the surgery, you also need to give your body time to absolutely adjust to this new thing because I don't have a lot to lose. I mean, I have like a hundred pounds. I want to lose over a hundred pounds, right? But compared to other bariatric patients, I don't have a lot to lose. So getting the IUD in is an important step because it is safer for me not to get pregnant, not even by accident because there are so many patients that will lose weight. Uh, they'll lose 50 pounds or 60 pounds and then boom, they end up pregnant. And it was important for me to not end up pregnant during my weight loss process after surgery because I wanted to do things right. And I wanted to make sure that my body was healthy, that my body had the nutrients, the vitamins, 
the supplements, everything it needed to carry a healthy pregnancy. My goal is to have a healthy pregnancy. I know that doesn't always happen for everybody, but um, I have a birth plan in motion. I And when the time comes, I will speak on it and I will let you guys all know. For now, just know I look rough because it was really a rough night. It was really rough. I couldn't find my Midol. I couldn't find the ibuprofen. I finally found some Tylenol and I took that and it was the only thing that calmed me down because not even the heating pad was calming the pain down. It was that bad. I remembered that Midol has Tylenol, so I took some Tylenol. I also want to mention that I was on Megase prior to getting the IUD and like literally two weeks ago um, they were completely finished and that kind of screws up with your hormones a little bit because essentially what Megase is is basically proge uh, progesterone and my body doesn't produce enough progesterone to balance everything that is why I do not ovulate but you see all these little like spots all these little tiny like pimples that I'm getting or that I have my face is starting to clear up but uh just wanted to explain why I look like I have tiny little pimples um coming through they're finally clearing up but that is that is what's happening when you when your hormones are a little crazy especially after being on a supplement like that so yeah that's part of my looking rough <laughs> situation but if you have seen this vlog to the very end thank you this is essentially a short episode next episode will be will be inform informational like i said you're just gonna see my whole process we're gonna you're gonna see the good you're gonna see the bad sometimes i'll have makeup and sometimes i won't like today so i'm gonna make sure that i you know do these vlogs so that you can see my experience i want to inspire you to do things for yourself like to do the research there's a lot of information out there be careful Always consult your doctor and your dietitian or nutritionist. Do the things that work for you. Like I said in the first video, it is very important that you do things that work for you. If it's, you know, staying away from red meats, then stay away from red, red meats. If you want to be a pescatarian and that works for you, then do it. If you want to be a vegetarian or vegan and that is working for your body and you feel happy and you feel like you're losing weight and you're getting energy back, then do that. I'm a carnivore. I've tried to stay away from meats and it's actually made me miserable. But that is because I learned what my body needs. And I will go into that in another video. I'm gonna teach you guys how I researched for my body and how I learned what works for me and, and how I've seen results. The only reason why I gained the weight back is because, well, I have PCOS and, and I didn't know that at the time. But we're going to get into that in these vlogs. I appreciate you so much in watching all of my videos. Please comment, share, like, and subscribe so that you don't miss any videos. This is going to be a long journey. And I'm really excited in sharing all of this with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe hit that like button, turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss a video and you can be notified when my next episode is up. Don't forget to share with your friends if you feel or know anyone that is currently struggling with weight loss or is struggling to find the energy or the motivation to continue on their journey, then please share my video with them because I want us to do this together and I wanna motivate everyone and anyone who is also in this journey so i love you guys thank you guys so much for watching i will see you next time